It is now the chance for Lucan to either win gold or silver and produce a third Quinella for the United States. In the warm-up, she slipped down the side of the beam on that element. So she has nerves of steel in competition as well. She looks perfectly schooled on this apparatus, so it means that everything she does is technically just about perfect. Landing positions, arm positions, posture. She won on this event, on this apparatus I should say, in New York earlier this year. World Cup. He needs to land the dismount square to the beam to be in a chance for the gold. Oh, a little short. Oh dear. It looks good kill. <laughs> Congratulations, yes. <laughs> Filled with sincerity. Well done. She is just a delight to watch on this apparatus and whether she gets the gold or the silver and I'm sure it's going to be one of those, to me she epitomises what this apparatus is about. She has class, she has style and acrobatically she does everything the way it's supposed to be done. She's my gold medalist whether she's the judges or not and that's no disrespect to Memel at all. I just think that how she performs on this apparatus is how it's supposed to be performed and the only thing that could let her down is this dismount where she's a tiny bit low, legs crossed, a bit short on the twist and they could really be tough on her for that. She has to beat 9.512 to win gold. Two fathers standing there. And she's done it. She has done it. With a 9.612, the Americans take the corner.